Hey guys, it's Arissa. Welcome back to my channel. I am looking forward to talking about all the products I have here today because I've been wanting to rave about them. I just couldn't really figure out when to incorporate them since I've done videos on favorite makeup brushes, favorite blushes, favorite concealers, and it's just kind of at the point now where I have to talk about miscellaneous, the rest of them. So I have 10 current favorites here today and they are all first timers coincidentally. So we're gonna start off with makeup, go into skincare, and then top it off with a nail polish. First two items I'm mentioning are highlighters. And that's a little strange because I don't wear highlighters every day, but I guess I should say that when I do, I'm pretty picky about them. And I love both of these and they're both by Milani. So the first one is the Milani Baked Blush, actually, and it is in Rosa Romantica. It's a newer baked blush. I've recently repurchased some of the baked blushes, and I wanted to get the two newer shades that came out, and this one is one of them, and it is a slight peach, and it's the one that I'm wearing right now. I'm a very subtle highlight type of girl, so you might not really be able to see, but it is a little bit of a peach. It has kind of a peach shift to it. It's so beautiful. And then the other Milani highlight here is the Afterglow Strobe Light Highlighter. And this was recommended to me by quite a few people. And it's so beautiful. It's like a seashell design. I wanted to mention both of them because if you wanted something a little bit peachier, this is great. Or if you want to go with a very classic off-white, this is a beauty. And the formula on this is of course going to be a little bit more on that creamy powder side, whereas this one is pretty much dry and hard because it is a baked product. So that's something to keep in mind, but otherwise they both have a beautiful sheen, a beautiful glow. And the rest of the makeup I'm talking about are all lip products. So I'll start off with the lip liner here, and this is probably not a surprise. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk, which is a cult classic by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm probably one of the last people to ever even get this, but I'm so happy that I did. I did get it in the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale Kit, and it's what I'm wearing right now. And I tend to grab this as a lip liner because it's pretty much an exact match with my lip color, which is perfect because anytime I want to line my lips, it looks very natural. And I was not really someone who wore lip liner very often. I used to always also think though that my lips looked very thin. They're still on the thin side, but I think lip lining has really made a difference for me. I don't overdraw my lips or overline my lips. I don't really like that look, but just lining my lips where they naturally end has really made a difference for me because it's just defining and enhancing what you already have. And it really helps to make your lips look a lot fuller. And I like the formula. It's not too creamy because I have tried really creamy lip liners before that just don't last. But then I've also tried rock hard ones and this one's not like that either. So I think that even as a lip liner all over the lips, like even drawing it in, or coloring it in looks really good. My next favorite is Flower Beauty lipsticks. And I have two shades here. The first one is what I'm wearing right now, which is 035 Spiced Petal, which is a cream lipstick. Such a beautiful formula. It's so comfortable. It glides on. It doesn't look like your lips are dry or anything like that. And I think it's a beautiful cream formula. Someone did ask me about scent and it doesn't really have one. If anything, it's a very, very subtle, almost like crayon scent, but you can't really tell. That's like if you really, really try to smell it. But otherwise, I think it's pretty much unscented. And the other one that I have here is 020 Naked Blush, which is a matte formula. So of course, this one's going to kind of tug at the lips a little bit more, it's a little bit more dry, but I still think that for a matte lipstick, it's very nice, very comfortable. I do prefer the cream formula just a little bit more, but I like both of them. And in the future, I'm looking forward to trying other ones, especially if I'm getting into like fall colors and winter colors. So I'm looking forward to trying more of these. And next up is lip gloss and it might be my favorite lip gloss ever. And this is the Becca Glow Gloss and this one is in Camellia and this one is in Opal. I'm mainly gonna talk about Camellia because this is the color that I would consider my current favorite. It's something that would come across as like a Barbie pink, but because it's almost like a jelly on your lips, you still get the color payoff, but it's kind of more of a sheer Barbie pink and it's so pretty. 
it just really livens up the face. It makes me feel perkier and happier when I wear this. And I think it's a beautiful color to liven up any look. And there is a slight minty scent to it, which is not something that I usually like. I don't like minty lip products that also make your lips feel like they're getting kind of plump and maybe tingly, but that's not the case with this. It just has that subtle minty scent but nothing else. It doesn't feel like anything like that on your lips. I also like the shade Opal. This is a perfect nude and I wanted to throw that in because it's showing me that the formula in general is what I really like, but I just absolutely love this shade right here. This shade was a recommendation by Emily Noel 83 on YouTube and I'm so happy that she recommended it. I love it. And in terms of the way that these feel on the lips, they have that nice thickness to them so it doesn't feel like it's just gonna wipe away within the next 30 minutes. But at the same time, it's not so sticky and goopy that when you press your lips together, it's really hard to take them apart. So now we're going into the other categories. So this is for skincare. This is probably though my absolute favorite thing that I'm mentioning here today, which is pretty crazy to say, but that's how much I love this thing. This is the Mario Badescu Vitamin C Serum, and this is magic in a bottle. So I have, what I always like to tell people is oily skin, acne prone skin, and sensitive skin. And anytime I have a potential breakout on my chin because mine tend to be hormonal, I will put some of this on and it is dramatically reduced by the next morning because I tend to do it at night. And it's like my skin really clears up with this instead of going in with something harsher like a benzoyl peroxide or a salicylic acid product, I'm now going in with vitamin C and it has made a world of difference. And it's supposed to smooth, soften, and make your skin glow. And I think it does all those things. My face feels so hydrated every single day now because I go in with this. So if you have similar skin issues, you may wanna look into this. I don't wanna say just go out and get it because who knows, you know, everyone's skin reacts differently to things. But if it's something that might benefit you, take a look at the reviews on the Ulta website or go to makeupalley.com and see what they have to say. So next here is a skincare tool and it's only $5, but this is $5 well spent for me. And it's the e.l.f. Pore Refining Mask Tool, Pore Refining Brush and Mask Tool, something like that. I'll put it right here. This is what I mainly bought it for. It's a silicone spatula to apply your face mask. So I like to go in with my uh, clay masks all over and it's so convenient rather than using your fingers and then this is what really surprised me. It's this little brush and it looks like it'd be a flat brush that would be used to apply concealer. I'm sure a lot of us have this in our collection so you could pretty much use something like that. But this is so soft. I don't know if it's just extra, extra soft for skincare, but it's very, very dense. And what I like to do is take some of my face cleanser, pump it on here, spread it across my face, and then go in with this brush in circular motions and just buff my face wash into my skin or my facial cleanser. And I'll just massage it in for like a good minute and it lathers up and it makes your skin feel so clean, like deep clean. And I still use my Ferreo Luna too. I absolutely love that cleansing device, but this is like another option for me. So if I may be wanting to change it up every now and then, I'll go in with this. And even though it's such a small little brush, I think it does a great job because it really goes in around the nose. This little thing for $5, I really recommend it. So now it's body wash time. And this is not something that I would ever really mention except this smells so amazing, I have to talk about it. And it's the Olay Sparkling Yuzu and Passion Flower Body Wash. This smells so good that this is the second bottle. We're already on our second bottle, Steven loves it, and it smells amazing because it's that citrus scent from the Yuzu. Just the balance between the Passion Flower and the Yuzu is perfect. So it has that citrus scent. So if you like a citrus, sweet fruity scent for your body washes. Maybe look into this, smell it at Target. And it really lingers afterwards too. So you can wash your body with this, but then it just lingers afterwards. The bathroom smells like it. And it just really wakes me up in the morning when I'm taking a shower. I really recommend this one. So this is another thing that I wouldn't usually talk about. It's a foot cream. This is the Ahava Leave-On Dead Sea Mud Dermud Intensive Foot Cream 
but it is summer, we're wearing sandals, and this is so necessary for me. So this is in combination with me exfoliating my feet in the shower pretty much every day. And when I put this on before I leave the house with my sandals on, my heels look so good. They don't look cracked, they don't look dry, um, as long as I put this on anyway. And I think this is a great, really thick emollient cream. You could also wear this at night, so if you wanna put this on your nightstand and you crawl into bed, make this the last thing you do. And my final thing here is a nail polish. It's the one that I'm wearing right now. It is the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in Let's Snow. It's the one that I purchased a few weeks ago when I wanted to get back into white polish and I love it. I think it's good within two coats. The first coat sucks, but a lot of polishes with that white base is going to most likely not look very good in that first coat, but the second coat is good, the third coat is even better. I do tend to let my nails dry for a few minutes in between coats, which really helps so it doesn't get too goopy and gunked up. Um, but yes, I really recommend this if you're looking for a cream, a white cream nail polish, and I love it for the summer. It goes with all my outfits, I don't have to think about it, and I just think it looks very clean and crisp for summer. And that's it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is the second time that I filmed this, so I apologize that this came late. The first time I looked back at the footage and I had dry shampoo on my shoulder. I was like, what the heck am I doing with myself? So I, at first I was kind of editing it and I'm like, no, I have to refilm this. I mean, I always have something wrong in the video at some point, but that one was just not good. So yes, thank you for your patience. And if you have any favorites that you want to share, I would love to know about them. If you have any recommendations, maybe more Flower Beauty products, more Charlotte Tilbury, or if you have a favorite that I mentioned here, I would love to know about it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.